I first heard you have diabetes, I was in the emergency room going into a diabetic coma. I could no longer walk. I was in a wheelchair. The night before I had passed out in my bathtub and that day I knew I was dying. Yeah, when I first had diabetes or when they first diagnosed me that I had diabetes, at first I didn't really know what diabetes was, but my mother had an idea. She was scared, but I, I wasn't I was indifferent because I didn't know what I had. Un shock. Realmente, el año 1986 había muy poco conocimiento de la diabetes tipo 1 en mi país. Entonces, eh, me enfrentaba a lo desconocido, a, a cosas que nunca antes había, había escuchado. I was devastated, but I was also relieved to know that I'm not going to die knowing, um, not knowing what was wrong with me. Quizás pienso, mirando hacia atrás, que si no hubiese sido diagnosticado con diabetes tipo 1, mi estilo de vida hoy sería muy, muy distinto. Tal vez sería sedentario, tal vez tendría una alimentación poco saludable y tendría pocos controles médicos. My um, endocrinologist told me that I needed to go see a cardiologist and I didn't know why. But he then explained to me that there's a correlation between having diabetes and CVD. You, you've, you've lived 10 years with diabetes, now you've added two years, and the years keep adding up. You have to be very careful with your control and everything just so that you don't have a complication. Ну, наиболее распространенные факторы риска сердечно-сосудистых заболеваний это, конечно, возраст, это пол. Мужской пол несколько больше, хотя при диабете считается, что и женщины, и мужчины одинаково поражаются сердечно-сосудистыми заболеваниями, в этом особенность диабета. Это наличие избыточного веса и ожирения, это повышенный уровень артериального давления, это повышенный уровень холестерина и, конечно, это плохо контролируемый диабет, то есть повышенный уровень глюкозы и гликированного гемоглобина. I think the, the big change I did was an adjustment to my, my eating habits, what I eat and when I eat, and I eat regularly. In the Pacific we are renowned to stop eating when we are tired and uh, not when we are full. So uh, frequent meals, uh, regular meals. I think gestational diabetes is a good thing. I am very careful in my life. 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 In the family, I a healthy food من فکر کنم بیماری دیابتی نوع یک به خاطر اینکه معمولا زمانی که تشخیص داده میشن سنشون کمه و خیلی بیماری قلبی و روحی اون موقع اولویت نیست اینقدر حساس نیستن که بزرگتر بشن بیشتر و بیشتر به دکتر قلب سر بزنن ولی من فکر میکنم که مهمه که همه ما که مبتلا به دیابت هستیم از دکترمون بخوایم که ما رو ارجاع بده برای دکتر قلب و ماینه قلب و روغم. Nadie te puede garantizar que no vas a tener una enfermedad cardiovascular, pero sí puedes protegerte. Hay que conversar con el médico y hay que informarse. Hoy existen alternativas para informarse, además que hoy existen tratamientos que pueden ayudar a disminuir ese riesgo y proteger eh, la enfermedad cardiovascular. Now advice is certainly get a GP, stick to a GP and attend him regularly and uh, so if he don't know what's wrong with you he can't advise you and so uh, having regular visits and uh, whether it be your GP or your local health advisor or person. Mm -hmm.